The man in the suit's going to do it, is he? Left foot or right foot? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I watch these blokes muck it up time oh, and time. Oh, here we go. So I think I'll just go out in the suit and bomb one in. That would be a brilliant <laughs> moment. I haven't had a kick of the footy other than in the backyard for a while, right? So, so I'm, I'm a bit tight. Yeah, no, the... a bit tight. You're going to come down and have a kick with me to warm me up? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't miss a minute of this. <laughs> How's the your thing? kicking going, Ed? I haven't had a kick on Sunday. How'd you go? I had a, a ball that had been kicked around a bit, so it, it lost a little bit of uh, condition. C- I couldn't get on at all. I'm not getting a second spin properly. That'll be the gout. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that could bring me down. That could be it. Out, Maguire, down. <laughs> Take me. If you hobbled in this morning, I'm a bit sore. <laughs> so are you a chance to be pull, pulling out with an injury from this kick? Is no, that no, the way? I'm sure. I'll punch through. Sounds like there's some yeah, excuses. Hey, you're travelling at the moment. Uh, uh, got a torn adductor. Oh, have you? Oh. I have, yeah. You're good to go, oh, though. Right. You're good to go. Oh, I hope so, yeah. Because a lot of people would be very concerned that you did just declare. Well, I'm more was concerned that I'm going to tear it off the bone, mate. I'm not worried about <laughs> kick. We're not asking you to play four corners. Well, how many kicks do you want? It's just the only one. They put it in the goal square. Can I be on the mark? You're on the mark of life for me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, though, there's every chance the first one I might just run in and drill one straight at your head. <laughs> hey, everyone, you're allowed to boo. In fact, it's probably compulsory. Compulsory oh, when he's, Ed McGuire's coming in. Just stand there. All you got to do is put your hands out, and I'll, I'll just put it right onto you, okay? All right, All right we'll be there tonight at the MCG. Might be a few highly paid footballers put the shame tonight, though. You never know. <laughs> oh, hi. I tell you what, the countdown is on here at the MCG. Yes. Not a lot of interest in this game. A heap of interest in whether Head's going to balls up the kick on the green stuff on the Hello Turf. I don't normally come in uh, before seven, but I'm here early. The Chief is here, Jason Dunstall, the Wolf, Damien Barrett, the number one news breaker. Jim, ready to call it all, and that is the focus. A uh, million-dollar mark up for grabs. Paul Curry, the winner from Clifton Springs. He could be sitting in the goal square waiting for the man in the suit with the footy boots on to launch one into the goal square. And in my travels out there, Jim, that's why I've jumped oh, back on. Hello. Because mm. I was wondering out the back, because I'm in a bit uh, early. Uh, Mick Moldhouse has just dropped by, if has you don't he? mind. And I've been out to grab Mick. Hey, Mick. Who Fantastic. I think might be especially Fantastic. here just Fantastic. to witness Fantastic. this kick. Hello, Mick. Terrific to be here, fellas. A terrific night for football. <laughs> you, can, you can smell spring in the air. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great to see you stuff that up. It'll be terrific, <laughs> won't it? Are you confident in the present? Have you got any no, faith? Got got absolutely no faith in him whatsoever. Has he got his long stops in? He's got the Adidas Cobra Monday I was on, I understand. But of course he does. Well, Mick, you'd be, you'd be wrapped if he falls over, let's be honest. Oh, mate, I'll, I'll be filming I'll have Nanette filming it for me. We'll have, uh, <laughs> we're ready to go, mate. We'll have it on repeat all summer. <laughs> now, Mick, now, Mick, in your years coaching Collingwood, you would have seen Eddie kick the ball a lot, surely, because he loves to get down on the track, doesn't he? Oh, he he did, he did. He got so involved in footy department matters, I told him to stay the bloody hell out of it. That was a problem with the end. So, yeah, he did. He got out the track. He thought he was one of the players. Was, <laughs> quite frankly, a lot's changed since those under-19s days at North Melbourne with Ed. He, he claims that he played there or trained down there, Jim. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, reckon he did. Not, not sure about that. Anyway, <laughs> sorry to interrupt, but Damien, how's, how's everything going with you? Are you OK, mate? Yeah, Tom Rockcliffe and yourself, you guys OK? No, we're good. Yeah, good. Yeah, and thanks for asking me. Yeah, you, you've helped me through the, the few blobs I've had you over the journey. You and Damien are close, just, Mick. Damien, they may claim that you and he are like this. Well, well, it's, up to, it's, it's, it's in Damien's eyes. <laughs> 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 He's probably as close to me as Ed McGuire is. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that one there, boys. Yeah, you got an ordinary night, day, mate. Back in your box for a minute. <laughs> All right, Mick, we appreciate you dropping by and uh, spending a bit of time with us. Well, you got it? Well, I, I just wondered if I did I see Ross Lyon before? Because <laughs> oh, I, I did I, find Ross out the back, <laughs> actually. Ross is here as well. He's worked out to be. He's just having a bit of a look at the MCG. I want to get familiar with it, to be frank. <laughs> Just want to see how the ground plays. You know, we're under no illusions that we're going to have to be here really soon. So. And good to see my brother Gary here as well. <laughs> hey, son. Son. Oh, son, Gary. <laughs> what about I think you were young enough to be my son, guess, but... <laughs> with that. He's terrific. Now, um, Ross. Um, Nate no, no Fife. Yeah. Ross, Nate no Fife. Yeah, yeah, really disappointing. Obviously, Nate's going to miss the next couple of weeks, so we but, hope... But to Sam Mitchell did it. S- Sam Mitchell did it? Very oh, mischievous like comments, Ross. Well, Jason, I'm not really going to go into it with you. You've obviously got a conflict of interest there with the Hawthorne football team. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to speak to Damien about this. <laughs> <laughs> but but Sam Mitchell did do it, Ross? Oh, 
That's in the eye of the beholder, to yeah. be frank. So no, that's not many make holding an it. Opinion on that. <laughs> have, have you worked out the definition of confidence as well this week, given you didn't know it at the last week's press conference? Oh, look, confidence again, another terrific question, Damien. That's the <laughs> <of> the beholder, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, how good is that? Uh, we've got Ross, we've got uh, Mick Moldhouse just swing by, and uh, we need to <laughs> give some great respect to a good mate of mine, David Scalzo, who's been good enough to organise both those. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 and and I'm loving the work, and that's why, number one, you get those two yeah, shorts of bikes. You don't around at all. No doubt about it. Well, Mick uh, Moldhouse, before we let you go, your old mate uh, Pebbles Rocker's down on the boundary, so throw down to him and say hello. Go, Peeps. How are you, mate? <laughs> you reckon Nathan Buckley was good in that two there as a two grand final, mate? Peeps should have won that North Smith medal by a mile. <laughs> Four goals should have been five. How are you, Ed? I'm very good, Mick. How are you? Well, it's great to speak to you, mate. You can keep, keep yourself well. Why haven't you called me back, Mick? I've been trying to ring you. <laughs> you, you and every other bloke. <laughs> Luke Ball was the same. He was complaining that I'd spoke to him. Or I was complaining I'd spoke to him. What's going on here? You going okay down there under Bucks? Uh, we're going okay, mate. Oh well, look, well, we not, not, not from a uh, a great uh, a loss last week, but um, yeah, the loss guys... last week. I lost a week before. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, a panic last week. <laughs> 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 You're fantastic, Anthony. You're a great player. You should have I, I used to like week. you, Mick. Yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> good luck tonight, Pips. You're a Thanks. good man. We'll catch up for a coffee soon, mate. <laughs> hey, Pebbles, great speaking to you, and we thank you very much for jumping on. But uh, excuse us for saying that our focus, as well as your mighty footy club tonight, is on your president and his ability to kick a footy 50 metres into the goal square. Uh, for one of our great listeners to have a chance to win a million bucks. What do you think? How's he going to go? I think he's got no hope to tell you. Right. <laughs> I just saw him walk down the race before holding He was holding his adductor and walking oh, down there. Oh. Uh, I think he's going to get changed now, so um, he's not far from coming out. And I've seen him kick. He's, um, he's, try- he's, well, he's been trying to teach everyone how to kick down at Collingwood, but uh, he, um, <laughs> let's see how he goes, eh? So now, Anthony, tell me honestly, in your opinion... Can he actually hit the goal square accurately? Uh, look, he might hit it accurately, but I don't think he'll get the distance. <laughs> nice vote of confidence, Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs>